What happens when the lights go out? You need a generator. We'll explain with a visit from Jeff Woods Construction. We're also heading into the kitchen this morning to visit with Lifestyle Cuisine, one of our My Best Me sponsors. All right, we will get to that. Plus, we are also going to have a little cycling session right here in the studio with our friends from Echelon Studio. All of that and more straight ahead on Let's Chat. Welcome to Let's Chat, the Tennessee Valley's premier show focusing on lifestyle and entertainment with Jess Raby and Chip Chapman. Bringing you smart shopping tips, community events, and the newest trends. Now, let's chat. All righty, here we go. It's Thursday, getting one day closer to the weekend. Yes. Opening, Opening day, day for the lookouts. For the lookouts. Very and exciting. for the Red Wolves, for the pro yes, soccer team. Yes, that is right. No rain till after game time. Perfect. Well, first pitch is what, 6.15 tonight? 6.15, mm -hmm. so no rain until after game time. Good. And uh, speaking of baseball, you may not have heard, but Atlanta Braves icon Bobby Cox uh, was taken to the hospital yesterday. Apparently, he suffered a pretty st uh, severe stroke. Now, according to some friends at WSB Television, Cox did have surgery to remove a blood clot. And the stroke had impacted his speech and the right side of his body. Uh, Cox managed the Atlanta Braves for 25 years, leading them to the 1995 World Series title. So news of his health concern hit the current Braves team pretty hard, I'm, I'm sure I can imagine. Yep, no doubt about it. He was an icon in Georgia. Um, an icon and the, I think, the fourth winningest manager mm -hmm. ever with over 2,500 game wins. Well, and 25, under his belt. You know, 25 years as a manager is, yeah. is often unheard of as well yeah, in the right industry. You are right about that. I got to meet Bobby Cox one day years and years ago, and just what a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a nice guy, until you made him mad on the baseball field. And then this is why that I did not all, play baseball. All gloves, all gloves went off. I'm sure. Anyway, well, he we was wish, obviously successful, so whatever was. works for him. So we wish but Bobby Cox and his family all the best. Yes, a quick recovery. Mm -hmm. Also in Georgia this morning, there's an elementary school that threw a huge surprise party for their custodian. This is a wonderful story. They were celebrating his 80th birthday. Mr. Hayes Mabry, known as Mr. Hayes, has worked at Pike County Elementary School for 13 years. So students, teachers, and staff say everyone loves Mr. Hayes because he is such a caring person. They wrote letters, they made posters, they took pictures, and when he got to school, they all lined the halls and chanted his name. They had birthday cookies, they had treats, they had cakes, they had the whole nine yards. Mr. Hayes says he can retire, but he doesn't want to. He says he likes to keep busy and he loves the kids. I can't say I blame him. It sounds like the kids love him yeah, too. That then, you know, when kids are that age and you get to be around them like that in his capacity, it kind of makes you feel Aww, young at heart. Look at all the hugs. Did you see all the little hugs? I did. That was sweet. Great, I would want uh, that too. I wouldn't want to retire either. <laughs> <laughs> great heartwarming story. And we hope Mr. Hayes had a uh, birthday he will never, ever forget. Absolutely. Happy birthday to him. Hope he's still celebrating. All right, we're going to be doing some exercising here a little bit later. Jess is going to be exercising a little. You're exercising, right? We're not there yet, Chip. No, uh, okay. He's right. just excited to get on the bicycle. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. So, you know, the country music singer yeah. Brad Paisley yes. and his beautiful wife, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. So, they've been working on this for quite a while. They're opening the store. So, this is going to be a grocery store in Nashville, but it's not like most other grocery stores. You're going to be able to shop for free. Now, obviously, this isn't for everyone, only qualified members of the community, but customers who are referred by appropriate nonprofit and government agencies will be able to shop for food and other necessities for free for one year. And this is, of course, geared towards lower income and those who are food insecure is one of the terms mm -hmm. that's been used in association with this. Brad and Kimberly got this idea after taking their kids to volunteer at a similar nonprofit out in California. And they teamed up with Brad's alma mater, Belmont University, to open up the store. Second Harvest Food Bank in Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. and some other organizations will be providing the food and the non-perishable groceries that will be fresh and non-perishable as well. Absolutely. It's a wonderful mm -hmm. idea. I'd love to see love one it. of those pop up right here in Chattanooga. Absolutely. Who knows with their popularity if that takes off in Nashville we could yeah. see something like that. I right love here. the strategy of it because you're still 
allowing the individuals who need assistance a little bit of independence mm -hmm. in that they can go and pick out their own groceries, pick out their own items. Um, and maybe they feel, I've worked with, the, I've worked with Second Harvest Food Bank a lot. That's right. where this is stemming from. I've, I've worked with Second Harvest Food Bank for many years. I've met many families when they've been picking up their boxes. And they told me personally that they are slightly embarrassed of their situation. Sure. You know, maybe, you know, the economy took a huge hit several years ago. People were laid off. This mm -hmm. is around the same time I was volunteering. And, you know, this gives them a little bit of that independence back. Yep. And this gives them a little bit of that confidence back as well. And it helps retain their sense of dignity, which mm -hmm. is important when you're raising a family, Absolutely. especially with kids. Sometimes we can't control what happens in our lives, so it's important to have these organizations there to help us. You are absolutely right. All righty, let's see, we are going to be doing some exercising with Echelon Studio a little bit later yeah. on, and everyone needs a generator. Yes. Everyone really, really does. I know I want one. Now's the house. time to get one before summer storm season, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. Plus, we're cooking up a delicious dish over in the kitchen. All that and more this half hour on Let's Chat.